name is Victoria. I'm 80 years old. I'm from Toronto, Canada, and this fall I will be an undergraduate at Rhode Island School of Design. Today I'll be going through my portfolio that I used to apply to Pratt Institute and Rhode Island School of Design. I have like 20 pieces to go through, so I'm going to try to go through them as briefly as possible. If you stay to the end, I will talk about my grades and my statistics and some other factors that I think contributed to um, my acceptance at either of these two schools. A lot of my pieces here have like descriptions and whatnot, but since I'm trying to get through this video as well as briefly as possible, I'm not going to talk about the descriptions. I do have a website, so check it out. So this is my first piece called Melancholy. It's of a live model named Melanie and I use white Conte on black construction paper. The paper's not that good so it kind of makes sense. So. <laughs> my second piece is a color pencil rendering of this church in my neighborhood and yeah there's nothing much to it. It's just like a realistic drawing. It's kind of boring but yeah just to show I can do technical work. This next piece is also in colored pencil. It's a self-portrait, but it's like inspired by the 18, 1900s Cubism movement. So it's got like these little boxes and squares. I basically just did the composition in Photoshop. I collaged a bunch of photos from prom and then I, yeah, I just drew it out. And I thought it was kind of cool. It wasn't like a boring, like direct self-portrait. My next piece is also from a life drawing class in high school. This is from like, I think grade 11. So I'm not, I wasn't very good at life drawing then. I'm still not very good at it now. I can see a lot of mistakes like anatomically and whatnot. But yeah, this, I put it in there cause it was pretty nice. Um, this treehouse design was assigned in high school. And so basically we were supposed to create a treehouse that could sustain itself. So on the top, you probably can't see up here, there's like a funnel to collect rainwater. And like, these are like these mock solar panels on the side, which are just made with cardboard and black paint. Uh, this next collection of illustrations is from pre-college. I did pre-college back in 2017 at RISD. And this was from like the Design Foundations class. This is actually the playing card design. I'm not sure if you guys remember or know of it. But this is the playing card design. When I first saw the pieces, they actually had fonts. But they were so juvenile. You see that? And ugly compared to the actual illustration itself. I just cropped it out when I submitted it to um, RISD. And yeah, so they'd never have to see that. I wanted to throw in something random that I've never done before. So I did like a linoleum print. This is what it looks like, but like I don't have the print anymore, so I only have like the little carved block, and it's pretty small. I'm not about to like, you know, do a bunch of like linoleum carving. Like this is this actually hurts. Like all these strokes here, it actually really hurt my hand. So I mean, it's pretty nice for the first time. I did a plate doctor because it's my aesthetic. I don't know. I could just like how creepy looking this guy is. This is another project from a uh, pre-college back in 2017. This is also from Design Foundations. This is just like a staircase design. I don't like it. That's why I don't have it on me. I actually just left it um, in my dorm back in pre-college because I didn't want to take it home. But yeah, since I had photos of it, I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put this in my portfolio, take up space and kind of show that I can do more 3D work. Like I mentioned before, I'm like not the best at life drawings, but like I wanted to show like the judges that I kind of dabbled in it. So I had like a collection of these like photo, well these drawings ranging from like 1 to 15 minutes. And this is from very early on too, so like I could see a lot of mistakes. But not gonna lie, I feel like if I were to do it now, I wouldn't do it any better. But yeah, I just put it in there. So um about this, uh, the reason why I'm not showing the whole thing is because um, it sucks and it doesn't look like me. It's a self-portrait but it doesn't look like me. So I don't even know why I put it in there. I feel like this is one of my worst pieces. <sighs> so these are animal drawings that I did in my, like a while back and they're just as boring as it looks. I mean, it's, you know, just realistic drawings of animals. And I feel like moving forward in terms of my art career, I'm definitely gonna start um, drawing from life as opposed to like from photos because I feel like when you draw from photos, it looks a lot more stiff and a lot more like dead because you're literally not drawing from life or drawing from a photo. So this next piece is pretty meaningful to me. 
It's of a girl named Sunika. I met Sunika through a high school um, workshop. It was, it was like a workshop for my art class, and basically we got to work with like the special education and life skills kids in the class. And I met this girl, and I thought she was really sweet and really cute. She was very really shy, and she actually never talked to me before. But um, every time she was interested in something, she would like kind of like gaze and look in a distance and like I could tell what she liked she really liked things that were really colorful hence the little like watercolor background up here it kind of represented her personality I wanted to be more like expressive in my pieces like later on in my portfolio because I feel like everything I had was like way too literal so these are two abstract um pieces the one on the left is inspired by like a bath bomb like you know those like lush bath bombs like the blue ones and you put in the water and like yeah like fizzes out so that one's inspired by a bath bomb and the one on the right is inspired by dirty dish soap water so yeah it's like it's more abstract and more expressive i only use a palette knife for this so that was pretty fun um i feel like sometimes not paying attention to detail is very liberating so i feel like i would probably do that more often these next two pieces are under the title oxymoronic um they're basically just illustrations of oxymorons that i see in my daily life that are reflect how I see society. This first piece is called Alone Together. It's basically just me on my phone. Um, the meaning behind this piece is pretty generic. It's just saying how like, oh, technology is isolating us. It's kind of like regurgitated content from, you know, those like deep Instagram posts, like stuff like this. So like I said before, like these pieces all have like extended meanings and I would really appreciate it if you like went into my website down in the description below and like read the descriptions too but for now I'm just gonna go through as quickly as possible. Clearly I'm not doing that, I talk too much. Anyway, so this is um, Cruel Kindness, it's of me killing my fish. This one is inspired by um, how growing up in like a larger Chinese community, I see a lot of like parents that are very over overbearing parents are very overbearing on their children and I wanted to say how like these parents in Chinese we call it huma or fuma and in direct translation it's like tiger mom so yeah this was inspired by that I'm saying how like some parents think that by their like, way of showing love is by putting a lot of pressure on their children and oftentimes it actually like lowers self-esteem in kids I'm sure my fellow Asians out there can relate so this next piece has a sad story behind it. Anyway, it's an original movie poster design. Um, it's assigned in class and we had to make an original movie idea and then make a poster that went along with it. This movie is just about like ships and dandelions. If you can't tell, it's kind of heavily inspired by Studio Ghibli. And yeah, so you might be thinking, what's the sad story by behind this piece? Well, as you can see these two characters up here, I tried my best to not make them look anime. But clearly, it looked too anime because according to my teachers, my mentors, and like other people around, they think it looks anime too. So, what I did was I photoshopped them out. And so it went from looking like this to like this. And every time I think about it, I want to cry. I'm kidding, no, I don't want to cry. But like, it's, it was really sad because when I was told that by so many people, I felt really hurt because I'm, that means like, you know how art schools don't like anime? It means I'm gonna have to like remove those characters or redraw the whole thing. Obviously, I'm not gonna redraw the whole thing. Do you see how long I took on the ship? I'm not gonna redraw the whole thing. So I just took it into Photoshop and removed it. So my last piece um, before I talk about my uh, RISD assignments is this triptych. They're two feet by three feet acrylic paintings where I illustrate my personal experiences with anxiety. As you can see, there's like a sequence in these three paintings. Like the first piece is where I'm underwater, the second piece I'm above water, and the third piece I'm thrown back underwater again. And yeah, so like I use like the ocean to kind of show a metaphor, like an allegory of my personal experiences. And to follow up with it, I had like a sketchbook that I submitted with it. And I don't do a lot of sketchbook work. I'm not very good at like preliminary work to be honest. But since this was kind of aesthetic and it was relevant to the previous piece, I put it in there to show that I do think. I think. <laughs> response is
is called "By Fair Means or Foul." It's inspired by the phrase "um, 不择手段 in Chinese, and basically, it's like a satirical illustration of social media influencers climbing the social ladder to get the verified check mark. And yeah, it's basically making fun of people for wanting validation online. <laughs> I mean, I do that too, clearly. So I should be somewhere in this pile here. So when you do the university assignment, you have to do two responses. So for the second response of verify, I did a portrait of my mom. I wanted to say how、um, throughout my process of creating my portfolio,、um, my mom was always there to kind of validate and verify my dreams and who I was as a person. I was very doubtful of myself when creating portfolio. So she was always there and behind me. She's my biggest fan, and I love her. And I wanted to do like a thank you piece. So this piece is called Mother's Reassurance. It juxtaposes with the first response because in the first response, it's like, oh,、um, social media influencers want validation from strangers, but I just want validation from my mom, which is kind of wholesome. And like, yeah. I'm going to be talking about my grades and my statistics. I took the SAT. I got a 1400.、Um, my GPA is 3.7. So in Ontario, that's like in Ontario, that's like a 92. I wrote the Common App essay, and for、uh, Pratt, I had to write an essay about why I liked art. I actually really enjoyed writing my Common App essay. So、um, if you're interested in reading it, I'll probably share it. If you guys want to see it, comment down below or something. Onto some factors I think assisted me in getting into a RISD.、Um, first of all, I feel like going to pre-college helped me because not only did I get to you know understand what I think RISD would want to see, I and like made pieces that would target Rhode Island mainly because it's my first choice, right? I was also able to get two reference letters from two professors, which I think.、Um, It's actually pretty well, obviously pretty helpful because they're professors from RISD, at least from pre-college. So I feel like those reference letters probably helped me a lot. I think applying early decision for Rhode Island also helped me because、um, I don't know where I heard it, but like apparently it's a higher acceptance rate if you apply early decision as opposed to regular decision. And since I was like basically done my portfolio by like. September. I wasn't about to wait until January, so I was like, you know what, November first, I'm putting in my portfolio. I'm not waiting. Same thing with Pratt. I applied to early decision for、um, Rhode Island, and so if I even if I made it to Pratt, I would have to go to Rhode Island. But it doesn't really matter anyway. I got to both schools, and since Rhode Island was my first choice, I went with RISD. Unfortunately, I turned down a scholarship from Pratt. But you know what? You win some, you lose some. So in regards to my portfolio earlier, I displayed all the pieces in order of how I submitted it into Slide Room. Melancholy, which is the first piece I showed you, is my second strongest piece, or I think the most impactful piece because it's like black and white and it's very like contrasty. So I put that first. In the very end, I put my best three paintings. So I start with bang and I end with bang. You know what I mean? In between, I had like more experimental pieces that、I、wasn't very confident about. So when I was I was scattering up in between pieces that I think were better. I just wanted to find a way that I felt would maintain the judges' attention、um, the longest. So I did, I tried to like, like gradually go from good to bad to good again. So it's kind of like. I also made sure I didn't put pieces of like similar subject matter or、um, some same medium next to each other. For example, I wouldn't put life drawing pieces next to each other, and I wouldn't put my two. Only three three D sculpture pieces next to each other. I would like scatter them out to kind of like give the illusion that there's a lot of diversity when there isn't. So yeah, that's it for my portfolio video. I hope I was as helpful as the other、um, portfolio videos that I watched in the past. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If I have enough questions, probably I'll make another like Q and A video or something like that. And if you do like what I do, I would be very happy if you left a like. Subscribe. It's so weird saying it because I always see people say it. But anyway, leave a like, subscribe, and share with your friends. Comment down below. You can ask anything. You ask about me. Ask about art. Ask about applying to art schools. Whatever. Just interact with me. <laughs> okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go now.、Um, hope you have a good day and see you around. Bye.
can't tell if it's hot today, but I'm sweating. Maybe because I'm nervous. Oh my god, <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs>